Hello folks, welcome to my channel. I get often this question, what is user data? What is user data in EC2 instance? How do I use it? When can I use it? Or the question is put in the other way saying, how do I install some packages when my server comes online? How do I register, register it to my chef server? So this is where uh, this video comes in and helps you. I'm going to show you what is user data field, how you can use it to run some commands when the server comes up, and also what are the other things that you can do with user data field. So I'm on my EC2 dashboard here. Let us go ahead and launch our demo instance. I'm going to choose the operating system. Let it be Amazon Linux. And uh, let us uh, choose the default values here for uh, our instance. And here, let me choose a public instance so that uh, we can have access to it when you are connecting to it. And here, when you scroll down, you will have advanced details. And here comes the magical field which says user data. So typically what happens is any command that you put in here is executed during the boot time of the server. And remember, this is executed only once when the server comes up for the first time. When you reboot a server, those commands are not executed. So any package which you want to install during the boot time, then you put it here. So in other words, it is called as bootstrapping the server. So what I'm going to do is this being a Linux instance, I'm going to create a web server for that. I will need a web server packages. And since we, we are using a Linux instance, we are going to run the commands in bash. So I'm going to tell Amazon what this commands following commands are going to be. So that is a shebang bin bash. And for installing the bash uh, HTTP server, I'm going to install the package HTTPD. And I'm going to make sure that the service is started when we are uh, going to start the instance. So let us say service HTTPD start. So I want a default page and that will be a default page. I don't want that page. So I will need another page uh, which will give us a nice little view that our website is launched. So I'm just going to type in the command for that. So that, there we go. We just typed in a simple page which will show us the host name on the index page itself. So let's go ahead and launch the server. And I'm just going to launch it and let it be in one of my default keys. And the server is getting launched. When the server is getting launched, if you want to look at your user data column, you can go to your instance settings and you can click on view or change user data. You will not be allowed to change it only when the server is in the stopped state, you will be able to edit it. So this is the user data field data that you want to check it for any running instance also that is also possible. So it is in pending state. Meanwhile, let me copy this IP address and then let me put it into my browser window and also in my putty terminal to see where my user data field is coming in. So my server has come online and my web server should also be online by now. So let's put it in the browser window and then press enter. And voila, there you go. My web server is installed and configured. I'm able to access the data from the web server. So that is how you use user data to install packages during boot time of a server. Thank you very much for watching. Happy learning.